In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to abuse the Media Explorer for other things than just browsing sound. So I have some liquid bubbly sounds here. As you can see, if you play a sound in the Media Explorer, it's usually sent to your default hardware output. So in my case, that's analog one and analog two. But you can also send the audio signal from the Media Explorer to a specific track. That way the signal is sent to the master in the usual way, and you can record stuff, put effects on the track, etc. So here there's the setting play through first track named Media Explorer Preview or first selected track. I'll take this option. And as you can see, I have this track here and it's named Media Explorer Preview. I have my master track here, so I'll play the sound. And you can see it's sent to the track and it's sent to the master from the track. And also, if you have a script like Global Sampler, it will capture your output, which is really neat. So the first thing I'm going to show you is, let's maybe just take this first liquid and loop it. And now I can try to play with the rate parameter and record all my changes in the global sampler. So that way I recorded everything I just did there. I really like the last variation and take this to my result. Now let's listen to it. So you can do that with any sound you like. Let's maybe try something else. Let's try some wishes. Cool. Let's put this in our results and so on. So that was the first trick. Because the track is used instead of our default output, we can also put effects on the track. So maybe let's take repitch and modulate this parameter. Just put anything there. Let's go back to our liquids. I think that's just too low. Let's put this to the middle and this to centered. Okay, it's weird, but I think you get what I mean. So maybe just another tremolo. So that way I can send any track from my Media Explorer to my effect chain and see what happens. Let's try something else. Maybe some sci-fi sound I designed. Oh, nice. So like, let's take this and save it. And I'll turn off the loop and just zap.
Without the effects, it will be like this. And with the effect, it's this. Oops. Let's loop it again. Let's combine. Let's combine the previous technique with this one. Yeah, so that's it for today. I hope this was useful and you can get a lot of nice sounds out of this. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and see you next time.